Hello everyone, this video will be a tutorial on how to make a HackStation Nintendo DS download station server. For the uninitiated, HackStation is a f modification that you can perform to DS download station where you can specify your own homebrew and other content to be uploaded to any DS console via download play. This is in theory, or at least I guess a response to the download station hack station video that I made five years ago, which actually was the third video I ever uploaded. And this is also um, stuff um, so I can just make a tutorial. And according to this, mainly this comment in particular, there's no tutorial um, from what I've seen. There are people needing help on starting it. And the devs of hack station just giving patches. So in this regard, I will be make this is gonna be a tutorial on how to do it. So let's get into it. You will obviously need two Nintendo DS consoles, 3DS, DSi, original DS doesn't matter, although one of them will need to be able to load ROMs. Um, so let's get started. First of all you're gonna want to get this tool, DS Patch GUI. This will be linked in the description. Um, click on the exe file to download it and save it somewhere. I don't need to do this since I've already saved mine. Next up, you will need the download your DS homebrew that you will be specifying for download station. There's a few app, there's a lot of apps that you can get, but um, you can't use all of them because download station is very limiting. And I do have one just for the testing of this video, but most smaller games will work just fine. You will obviously need a download station one. I won't provide a link to this because it is pretty easy to get a hold of anyway so what you're going to want to do is that yeah i just closed out um what you're going to want to do is that once you have your homebrew and your download station you're going to want to open ds patch gui now you're going to want to click open file in the input file click open file and then click ds download station your volume one it has to be volume one i didn't forgot to specify that it has to be volume one then in the WAM list section, click add WAM and then choose the homebrew that you want to import into the download station. You can add multiple homebrew files here and I don't know how many, I don't know the limit but it you can add a fair bit to it. Once you've added your homebrew, you can click save file and give it a name, I'll just name mine test2 and click create WAM when you're done. You can also customize things like the banner and some other stuff, but I'm not going to bother with that. Once you have your file saved, you're going to want to copy this to your Nintendo DS or the server that you'll be using. In this case, I'll be copying it to my 3DS's SD card. Or my, my 2DS's SD card, if I can find it. You can launch this with any way, you can use um, Twilight Menu, you can use a flash card. I'm using Twilight Menu for this example. Once you've copied your um, ROM, um, stick the SD card back into your DS and I will meet you there. Alright, um, once you've copied the ROM to your DS, I'm using a 2DS XL for this example and with Twilight Menu. Um, you're going to want to open your flash card or Twilight Menu in my case and load it up as normal. Give it a minute to load up. You're going to want to select the HackStation file and open it. As you can see, you'll see a countdown. Just press the A button on that thing and you'll see a screen that looks like this. And on the bottom screen, you'll see ROM 0D. Um, demo menu is the front menu and um, ROM numbers and letter is the ROM itself. Now, on another DS console, I'll use this DSi here. Open up Download Play on it, and then press the A button, because I had it in sleep mode. Um, press A, and then press A again. As you can see on this one, does a, this will take a little bit. B says IPL, that means it's downloading the client. And move back to here. This does take a little bit of time. There we go. I don't know why it took so long, but it should. It usually does not take that long. Um, as you can see, any homebrew that you have copied to the hack station will appear here. 
and select one you want and then press the A button and yes to download it. See that's counting down there and if we look on the server that's also counting up there. This will take a little bit of time. And perfect. As you can see, it is a snake game that I have copied over to here as a test thing. Yep. And you can see, this is literally the snake. <laughs> and that's essentially all there is to it. You can just copy over any homebrew you want and um, it'll work. So yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Thank you for watching. Sorry for holding out on it for so long, and yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.